actually needs the flash when you have this team? Hey guys, c Max signing in and hope you're all having a great day. And today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video about something that's really close to my heart and that's pace. For you guys who've been subscribers for a while, you know I like to build sweaty teams. I like to build pacey teams. So I thought today, why not make the fastest team in FIFA history? The average pace for this team is 98. I don't think you guys heard me. 90 freaking 8. And you guys are probably thinking, how the heck is that possible? And if you watch to the end, you'll be seeing exactly how that's possible in this video. Now I'm going to be doing this over on Foothead for you guys using the 4-4-2 formation. And I'm going to be using the fastest players from all previous FIFAs. So from FIFA 10 up until FIFA 16. And basically we'll just have a fast team. In this video, it's not about getting chemistry, but it's about getting the fastest team possible you guys will probably ever see on YouTube. For my subscribers, this is definitely a Team Mac exclusive. No one on YouTube has done a video like this. So you're seeing this first here. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future Team Mac exclusive videos. And trust me guys, I have a lot coming soon. It did actually take me a while to put this video together. So a like rating would be very much appreciated. As I go through the team, add the players in, I'll probably show you guys a few clips of what these players can actually do and have done. So I hope you enjoy that as well. And with that said, let's get straight into this. Now starting us off in the goalkeeper position, we've actually got a goalkeeper here and it's Josh Ford. Really wanted to put a goalkeeper here mainly because I wanted to see who was the fastest goalkeeper in the history of FIFA and it's this dude. He's got 80 speed on him which is ridiculous for a goalkeeper. And bear in mind guys, the fastest keeper in FIFA 16 now has like 66 speed. And this dude's bronze and he has 80 which just shows how ridiculous he is. This is the back four line guys, just take a look at that. I mean even I need a second to take this in. We have team of the year Robin to start us off with 98 pace, 98 dribbling, followed by team of the season Depay with 98 pace and 92 dribbling, team of the season Giovinco 98 pace, 95 dribbling and I think that might be like a team of the year Danny Alves from either FIFA 12 or FIFA 13 with 98 pace and 90 dribbling. Robin is a beast as you guys all know, in the World Cup he was outpacing people for days, he's just a really fast player in general. The Depay played for PSV for a while and for PSV he was literally the bread and butter, you put the ball into him, he'll chase it, he'll get through, score goals, pretty sure he was top scorer at PSV as well and that was mainly because of his pace, his dribbling and how he could just get through and destroy defences. Jovinko is another one guys, like he used to play in the Serie A, he was OP, he had a fast card on FIFA but when he moved to the MLS it's like his pace was literally boosted up by I don't even know what, like there's this one skill I saw him do where he gets the ball, does this mad skill to get past the defender and just outpaces him watching that i was like oh my freaking days this card especially is just unstoppable and to finish off the back line we actually have a right back in the right back position and that's danny alves you guys have all seen him play for barcelona he's been able to catch up to people like cristiano ronaldo and obviously at the time where he was appointed this card he was probably the best right back in the world moving on to the left mid and right mid well the both wingers but anyways i've got them in those positions we have team of the year 99 rated Ronaldo and team of the season 95 rated Neymar I mean once again like the other outfield players I've mentioned they've both got 98 pace and surprisingly enough both also have 99 dribbling starting off with Neymar Neymar had an amazing season last year obviously for FIFA 15 which is why he got this team of the season card and it just looked freaking scarily good like for Barcelona there was games where he was outpacing people like they weren't even there Neymar's practically the full package guys I don't really have to say much more about him now over to Ronaldo he was actually appointed a 99 rated team of the year card which is just insane nevertheless obviously Ronaldo won the Ballon d'Or last year he was scoring goals for days I'm pretty sure he scored more goals than games he played which was just insane and I'm pretty sure I don't have to say much else about this guy because you guys all know how insane he is in central mid we have Walcott to start us off with his man of the match Euros card freaking looks pretty cool if you ask me 98 pace 90 dribbling Next team with team of the season Martins with 98 pace and 85 dribbling. Anyways, Walcott got this card in FIFA 12 and at the time, I'm not going to lie, Walcott was playing amazing. This was before his injury, so he was still fairly young, really pacey and freaking destroying defences. And next team with Martins with the 98 pace. I remember he used to actually play in the BPL while back for Newcastle. He moved to the MLS and yeah, that's where things basically 
basically kicked off for him. He started getting informed cars, special cars left, right, and center. And in my opinion, this is by far his best card ever. I actually got to use this card on FIFA 15, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it was freaking OP. To finish off this squad, we have the two fastest ever players in FIFA history and that's team of the season Aubameyang and what I think at the time was a team of the year Messi I mean look at that Messi card 99 pace 99 dribbling 99 shooting 99 passing tell me what card is actually going to stop this Messi card it's just freaking too much and besides that freaking crazy ridiculous card we have another insane card and that's team of the season Aubameyang now back in FIFA 15 I actually packed this guy twice in the stream and i'm pretty sure on the channel somewhere i've actually got a pc squad build i built with him and walker i'll link it down in the description if you want to find that and watch it and yeah that basically completes the team it has an average pace of 98 freaking pace and it is by far the fastest team in fifa history ever the only way you can make this team faster is probably by taking out the keeper and throwing in another play of 98 pace anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more make sure to drop a like as that would be very much appreciated i'm going to be trying to post one or two videos similar to this one so if you want to see anything like that let me know down in the comment section and if you have any specific types of teams you want to see with players from all fifas let me know down in the comment section as well because i can literally jump on here and build you guys any type of team you want i actually have a lot of fun making these videos so alongside my normal squad builders my other videos i do you'll probably be seeing a few of these about and yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you guys want to talk to me ask questions or just stay in contact make sure to check out my twitter snapchat as well as instagram everything is linked down in the description subscribe if you are new to join team team Mac and get team team Mac exclusives like this video and yeah for today this is t-max signing out thanks for watching guys and see ya <laughs> this is the end of the video hi if you enjoy just comment and subscribe want to see more don't forget to leave a like do it <laughs> this is t-max signing out